So uh, what we did right now, my friend, he just uh, punched the blower on the passenger side under the dashboard. He punched it twice and the blower starts working. So we're getting fresh air. So today in this beautiful hot weather in Las Vegas again, I want to talk about really popular car in most of the states, but not in all of them. That's the 2017 Corvette C7. And the best part about this car, that's the Targa. And it's just a regular 3LT uh, with some options. Corvette, there is nothing particular, super nice, special. You can see but there is a famous LS engine which you can modify it as much as you want. There is a lot of different modifications you can add on it and you can do a lot of horsepower. You can do it as a drag racing. You can do it as a track car. You can use it for the drifting, but you have to light it up and take some wave off just so the car is going to be compatible with your drifting experience if you have one so the best part like, like i said before that's the targa so basically you can do easily manually take off your roof and i'm gonna show it to you right now how you can do it <laughs> easily and put it in your garage but just don't forget it you have one because as i can tell right now this roof see a lot of different places it used to not be but apparently it was there and somebody tried to dance on it they spray paint it they 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 paint it already because there is no perfect place you can keep the roof but most of the time you want to drive your car like that just you can show yourself you're driving beautiful corvette and some people might gonna be impressed by that okay let's put it back because it's too hot to keep it out we're gonna we're gonna build a car which is like gonna be eighty thousand dollars so the people are gonna struggle to put your roof back just because it's a car of it ha 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 but everybody's starting from something so i'm gonna start to be clarkson very soon so what's the nice about the car the nice about this car it has a huge engine ls super famous and there is a horsepower whatever it is just google it i'm not here to do so and it's a real wheel drive so you're going to get a lot of nice experience while you drive it on the canyon or just through the streets because as soon as you punch the gas this car going to gives you a lot of good energy feeling same way as you drive a nice Chevy Silverado because unless the engine you're right it's sitting there also and it given a lot of power to that car too but it has a different uh, reason to do so on this car that's for you to enjoy your day yourself when the truck it's just to pull a lot of heavy stuff behind right so what we have in this car right now let's tell this 2017 Corvette 3 LT in Targa edition uh, worth about right now 45 I would say 40 45 thousand at the auction means around between 40 and 15 de de depends on condition and the mileage you can get it on the market used one right so what do you have to do when you buy the car like that what do you have to do the, just to check the condition if there is no oil leak under the engine because other than that it's a really strong car the transmission eight speed it's proved itself over the years and i didn't see many of those cars with huge problems as a transmission but it's it's kind of not expensive to fix so and the engine itself it's not expensive to fix it too if you're gonna get any huge problems but again in my experience those kind of engines they're not getting a lot of that maybe just with overheating problem but the radiator itself and all the hoses they're not costing that much so i would say this way if you want to buy the car like that and you choose in between to buy the regular lt edition or you want to buy something like z and i'll tell you right now how many convertible 
Corvettes on the market. There is a Z51, there is a Z06, there is a Grand Sport, there is a 3LT, 2LT, 1LT, there is a Z51, there is a Z06 again, as a 1LZ, 3LZ, 1LT, 2LT, 3LT, 1LZ, Grand Sport, 3LT, Grand Sport, 3LT, Z. I mean, how many T and Z you're gonna get in this car? There is a difference on the price for those 3LT, 2LT, Grand Sport, or Z, some people who's really in those cars and love those cars. I mean, because the shape of the Corvette, you can take any of the Corvette from any generation, you can put it together and it's gonna remind you the Corvette before. Even the new one, C08, it's kind of ugly in my opinion, mid-size engine, but the shape of the car, it tells you from the far away it is a Corvette and the people who drive in it, they probably love it. Or 90% of the people who's driving C08, that's the car they rented for a period of time just to understand how bad the American sport car are. So the hood, it's easy to open from the inside. It is made of plastic. It's not a carbon fiber. That's the famous engine. Famous, why it's famous? Because LS engine from the Corvette, everybody love it. And uh, a lot of people, they do in swap. They, it's easy to install on any kind of car. Uh, not because it's easy to install, it's easy to maintain. And, and this car, it's kind of proved itself as durable for the period of time. A lot of Toyotas, they've been swapped on the LS. I know there is a Subaru swapped on the LS engine. And besides the trucks, the Dodge Viper or uh, Chevy Corvette, they're using exactly the same engine. So if you're gonna check it out from here, you can do a lot of stuff yourself. That's why the parts available and they are cheap because it is a maintenance comparable with yourself, with your garage and with your low experience of the cars. But you still can do it, fix it. Just be careful about the windshield because any cover you're gonna remove it, you're probably gonna do some pressure on the windshield and it might gonna crack. I had that experience before and it's kind of costly because there's not so many Chevy Corvettes made on the market and there is not so many windshields available for cheap. And as I say that, for example, this car has 50 plus uh, thousand miles on it. It's, uh, it's kind of looking good. The sounds is really healthy and it drives really good. There is not so many problems. I mean, I would say there is no problems at all right now, in my opinion. There is an alternator sitting here. There is a lot of different stuff like the, the again, the air filter, if you want to replace it yourself, like the belt, it's easy to do it also. Even the valve cover, if they're gonna start leaking, but again, it's an old LS engine. It's just the way different from the cars. You can see it every day. It's so easy to work on it. Even the hat, if nobody knew it, I'm gonna tell you, the hat, you can remove it without removing the chain. Oh, <gasps> diamond chain. Wow, that's insane. But it's super cool and super easy because there's a push roads. And if you're gonna get misfire, you can get push roads and replace it yourself or the camshafts they sit in all the way on the bottom and it just improved engine all GMC's trucks and Chevy trucks I built those a lot and they do not have a lot of problems other than they do have a high mileage and the poor maintenance for its life experience so if you already got this car and you're thinking about daily driver, I mean, it's not the car you would drive it every day. Number one, the space on the back. I mean, number one, you have to open it. It's easy to open the roof than this one. So it has quite some space, you would say, if you're going to take a look at that. But besides my jacket and maybe some kind of toys for the kids, I wouldn't keep any stuff. Number one, if you want to put the grocery, it's not going to be enough. If the, the bags you have, they kind of high, it's not going to close. If it's going to close, it's going to touch the, the rear window. I mean, you can adjust it. You can put some stuff together, but every time you're going to step on a brake, all the, your grocery going to go to your seats, unless you want to drive it and eat some food, whatever you bought, that's the car for you. So number two, there is nothing under, hide it as a spare tire or some tool. There is no tools. There is no spare tire, there is nothing. There is a battery, as all the Chevys has, and that's it. So basically, it's a two-seat drive. Uh, with open roof, you can do as a Targa. Uh, 
just to drive by the ocean or drive it on the streets but during the day with open roof not on a high speed because believe me again ls 6.2 engine it's gonna give you a lot of torque it's kind of crazy i would say engine if you cannot control it so you can easy to turn your car around and jump on the carb side or hit someone who's driving next to you so don't do it just keep in mind the corvette is super nice it's powerful but it's made for the people who understand this car and who can control all that craziness going on a real wheel drive so the quality of the chevy itself <laughs> just show us its improvement so the basically the blower on the climate control stop working and it's still 115 outside and i do appreciate corvette so much uh i cannot even hate this car as much as i hate it right now just because of that it has cool seats but looks like it's not working i'm turning it on all the way but i can't feel nothing and uh this touch screen it's like the super poor cheap chinese quality because every time i'm touching it trying to change something it won't react oh it's reacting with kind of huge delay the screen itself it's already blurry and you probably gonna have to change it soon wow there is a nice hiding pocket you can do some stuff you can put some stuff but probably you can put your phone on a charge because otherwise what are you gonna hide if you have a huge switch which same screen going up and down but the blower still not working and the Corvette Stingray not giving me joy at all so the engine it's a huge engine 6.2 the car is so light it gives you a lot of power right away it's not on demand it's like always there so if you want to paddle shift it and go a little bit lower the sound not so cool i mean the regular sound of v8 engine i don't know why the corvette besides the look they could do some improvement on the exhaust system so the people who can buy it they're not gonna spend extra money for the exhaust but actually what they doing they're not spending money they just doing cut here put straight pipe cut there put straight pipe let's take this street over and do some donuts so the chevy quality the paint on this car it's already fading in some spots sometimes it's already peeling off and it's only 2017 with 53,000 miles on the car so what is the quality i don't understand the blower not working the paint peeling off the screen not so good and but only thing the good thing the engine keep running strong transmission keep running strong and it has a lot of power you feel it sometimes actually not sometimes i cannot feel the power right now that's something weird honestly my latest gmc denali 1500 4x4 was giving me much more power than this 2017 corvette with twice less mileage than my gmc truck i'm not so familiar with chevy with those ls engines i'm not keeping it myself for a long period of time only for sale but i don't understand maybe this car needs some maintenance some new spark plugs some new filters and oil but i cannot feel where the power goes to so uh, what we did right now my friend he just uh, punched the blower on the passenger side under the dashboard he punched it twice and the blower starts working so we're getting fresh air with cool ac but we still not getting the power from this engine maybe i'm gonna ask him to punch the engine couple times right 
and it's gonna do its thing, but right now it's not doing it, so we have no cops behind us. It stopped working right now just because we went over the bump. He's gonna do his thing again, and it's working again. Nice. So that's the conclusion of my drive of the Corvette today. If you want to drive this beautiful car, you want to take it somewhere far, or you want to take it in the hot weather, just enjoy your trip. You have to take someone with you, your friend, your girlfriend, maybe your kids, who has enough power to punch the blower motor on the passenger side, so you're not going to die inside this beautiful Stingray. I am feeling the misfire right now. The car is shaking and it is, feels like misfire is a common problem for the Chevy trucks and GMC trucks. But I didn't know the Stingray Corvette gonna gonna do the same. Maybe you're gonna be all right. So, uh, we don't have a navigation. Ah, we do have a navigation. Ta -da -da, but it looks like navigation from 90s. Welcome to 90s. I'm in 2017 Corvette. Why the quality is so poor? I don't understand. Actually, Toyota Lexus, they, they were doing the same. So guys, if, if you have enough money to buy the Chevy Corvette, but you still thinking this car gonna give you same experience as a Ferrari or Lamborghini or McLaren or any other supercar, you're not right. Actually, you are wrong. So you're gonna get the car where people constantly smoking in and you can see it right here. You're gonna see the car which is far away from those cars you are dreaming to buy. So if you still wanna buy the Corvette, you have those 40, 45,000 to buy the used Corvette with some mileage and you're thinking you're gonna be so cool driving in LA, Miami, New York or Vegas, you're not right. Just buy the Lexus, buy the Kia or the previous new one and you're gonna get more enjoyable days. Any Corvette you're gonna take from 2001, whatever on the market, even before, before it's even more uglier. Uh, but a lot of my friends they used to buy, a lot of dealers, they used to buy 2001, 2002 Corvettes uh, and the newer one with those blind headlights and they be saying wow that's a, such a nice car you know I love it it sells so good and this and that uh, and I I didn't get it that time I didn't get it after that time and I'm still not getting it who are you the people who's buying this car and tell me in the comments why you buying it what kind of reason you spend the money and bought the Corvette and after all, what this car gave you after you bought it and drove it period of time, is it like enjoyable time? Is it like the money you invested somewhere and you got it, you got double at the end of your uh, enjoyable trip, enjoyable ride? Tell me what do you think about the Chevy industry and the Corvette itself, if it's an idol, if it's gonna improve itself uh, later on and if this car gonna keep the value later on. So guys, thank you so much for watching it. It was Andy Rides from Las Vegas. It was really hot outside and the Chevy uh, showed me some things. I have to have a boss to drive this car, otherwise the AC not gonna work. So I hate it, but now I appreciate it. Thank you so much, put some reviews, put some thumbs up and do some comments, love you. And uh, see you next time, maybe in Vegas, maybe somewhere else. I hope one day we're going to be in Bali or Sydney, but not right now. Thank you for watching it.